Hey guys, what's up? We're here for our part three of our weekly wrap up. Uh, Richard, we're left. We just finished off with the Nationals. Um, now we're on to the final five teams. Um, we're gonna start off with the Oakland Athletics. Richard, this team projected to be the number one in their division. They're not really standing, uh, relying on it right now. Will this team improve as the season progresses? Yeah, I think they will. Uh, the young pitching will win them ball games. Their offense is a little, you know, not that great. But I think they they locked up Brett Anderson, not Brett Anderson, Trevor Cahill. Um, he's their ace. Their bullpen's looking sharp. Front front ace is looking like uh, how he was in his old days when he was closing for the Angels. Um, yeah, I like the I like the A's a lot. I expect them to uh, propel as the season goes on. Only six and six, but they'll do much better. Yeah. Um, going back to Tim's MV, uh, Cy Young winner, is Trevor Cahill the Cy Young winner this year? Uh, I, I think he'll finish definitely in the top ten. I don't think he's going to win the Cy Young. Uh, guys like CC Sabathia, John Lester, David Price, Felix Hernandez. Um, I, I, I don't think it'll be too tough. Uh, I don't see them, I don't see him winning the Cy Young. He's definitely a great pitcher, you know, uh, but... I don't think it won So, I think this team is going to have a great turnaround. Um, their bullpen is pretty decent. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian Fuentes, uh, one of my favorite pitchers, he's pitched for the Angels. Um, who is their closer? What? Do you know? Well, their closer is Andrew Bailey, but he's hurt. So, right now it is Fuentes. So, Fuentes is doing amazing a job for them. Yeah, uh, I mean, when Bailey gets back, they want to make him more deadly. Yeah, I mean, Bailey was just like right at the tip of my tongue, but I just didn't get it straight up. Um, this team has a really nice bullpen. Got Grant Balfour. You guys got Brian, uh, Brian Fuentes. Got Andrew Bailey. Um, Michael Wirtz. I mean, guys like that. And then their pitching rotation is nice. Um, they, but the Angel, the Athletics, yeah, they're, they're crappy now, but I think they'll improve in a few. Um, next, we have the Seattle Mariners. Everybody's saying that. This team will lose like 40 games this season. Is this going to? Is this true? I don't know where you heard of that, at, but when I told you that, needs to uh, what do you think of wake that? up <laughs> because I I don't think that this team's gonna win uh, that many games. Because if you look at it that way, that means that they're gonna go 102, 100, 122, and 40, and that's not happening. Uh, by all means, they're a much better team than anybody everybody thinks, but. No, definitely not that many wins. I like Felix Hernandez. I like Dustin Ackley as soon as he makes it to the show. Um, they have the, uh, I think they have a D first pick in the draft. If not, it's the Pirates, so they have a, they have a second pick. But either way, they're going to end up with a nice young prospect like Garrett Cole or Anthony Rendon. Uh, I this going to be good in a couple of years. Yeah, I'll say in that as like an expression. He said, like, 60 or 50 games, but they said he's still expecting to be a 100-game loser this season. Um, next, off to the Toronto Blue Jays. Jose Batista, like right now, I'm watching this guy. He's pretty much picking up where he left off this season. Is he going to hit another, like, 50 home run season? No, I, he's definitely going to walk 35, 40. Well, 30, 35, I'll say. 50 is a hard beat to come by, and uh, I, I don't think they'll hit 54 again. What does this team need to work on this season so far? Well, I mean, the rotation is uh, doing pretty good. That's one of their bigger question marks. Their bullpen is pretty good. Frank Francisco and Octavio Hotel, um, they definitely have the power in their lineup, but they don't have the contact and hit for average that they don't really have a balanced lineup as far as that goes. They can hit more power, no doubt. But I think that their pitching rotation needs to step up and they need to start getting for more contact instead of relying on the long ball. Yeah. Uh, I still think somewhat of their bullpen needs up. I mean, John Rosh is, like, terrific. So, I still think their bullpen needs some help. On to the Pirates. Richard, what do you have on the Pirates? Ooh. Well... I know the Pirates, um, they're, they're pretty, I, I think that they're a pretty good team. I actually like them a little bit. Uh, with Neil Walker, Pedro Alvarez, Daniel McCutcheon, Jose Delvada, 
Derek Jones, um, James James McDonald. Uh, they have a lot of they have some they have some pretty nice prospects. I like the I like the team a lot just because of their youth and they have some promise in the next you know, five years. I think that we could eventually, you know, so we as this may sound, the next three to five years see a Kansas City or a Cleveland Indians versus Pirates World Series. Uh, yeah. Um, this Pirates team, is this going to be a trouble season for them with Clint Hurdle, or are they going to be a pretty turnaround team? Uh, I think they're going to be uh, a lot of fun with 95 to 100 loss season. Uh, Clint Hurdle is a great manager, led the Rockies to the World Series in 2007. I think they're going to have another struggling year, another top five draft pick. They'll, they'll, they'll evolve soon, though. Yeah. Um, the New York Yankees is on the final of our countdown. This team playing good. Um, I was reading about the Yankees this morning and going into this afternoon. Um, Nick Swisher said the Yankees, they said their hitting has been off lately, they said. And they said don't worry about it. It's still early in the season. Uh, what does the Yankees have to do with that hitting? What, what needs to improve? Uh, well, I think that it's always nice to see like Mark to share it out to a hot start because he's been known for the slow starts. I think it's, it's just a matter of time for the bats click. You know, when you got your lineup that features Curtis Granderson, A Rod, Teixeira, Jeter, Cano, uh, you, you got Brad Gardner on the top of the order. Um, I think that they have a really nice lineup. It's just a matter of time before they start clicking. Yeah. Yeah. Being a Yankee yeah. fan, I'm really pumped up to see how well my Yankees are doing. They're tied right now. They won today. Um, getting off to a quick, quick uh, start when the Baltimore just started slumping in the in the early innings. I really think that this Yankee team is going to possibly win this division. I mean, Boston, they could win second place, but they really have to turn around. Toronto, they could make a surprise. They could be... A wild card. I mean, any t- any team in that AL can be a wild card. They have so much great talent in the AL. I mean, I don't know where to start, but I think Toronto is going to be my favorite for the AL. Um, Richard, is there anything else you need to throw into any of these teams? Well, I think the Yankees are going to be shopping for a starting pitcher, no doubt, at the trade deadline. Uh, you know, they can be open for the guys well, like Pasto Camona, uh, Brett Myers, Jeremy Guthrie, James Shields, Jeff Neiman. This goes on. Um, they're really bummed out to say, I wrote on will be trade rumors earlier today. They're really bummed out that the Astros didn't let the Yankees know that Roy Oswald was more available because they ain't matched Roy Oswald there in New York. But I expect them to get a really nice starting pitcher um, to uh, help them out. Yeah. Uh, this totally just like caught my eye, though. Uh, well, while you were talking about that, you saw talk about uh, pitchers and stuff. Um, there is one more pitcher who used to pitch for the Tigers, Jeremy Bonderman. Is this guy going to pitch this season? Could the Yankees go after him? I heard Cleveland was the favorite for Kevin Millwood and Jeremy Bonderman. But I don't know what happened to that deal. I guess it wasn't really the, the deal that uh, he wanted, uh, Millwood wanted. But Jeremy Bonderman, I guess he lost interest. Will Jeremy Bonderman pitch this season? Um... That's tough. I, I'll give. Him, I'll say. Yeah, I think eventually a team will give him a chance. Uh, he sh- he should anyway. He shows some promise, even though he hasn't been all that successful. Uh, you can see Cleveland going after him. I don't think the Yankees will because they have so many minor league signings, starting pitchers like Bartolo Colon, Kevin Millwood. Uh, they even got Andrew Brackman, who's one of the top prospects. I I just think the Yankees are all done until the trade deadline when they try to get an impact player. Yeah, I mean, Carlos Silva, uh, yeah. Bartolo Colon, guys like that, I mean, do you think Carlos Silva will make the pitch rotation for the Yankees? I don't think he'll make the rotation, but I think he'll get a couple of starts. Uh, he'll yeah. keep it low, well, maybe seven, seven to eight starts um, to see what he can do. Um, but I don't think he'll make the rotation, no. Yeah, I mean... There were so many things asking in this vi- in these past three videos. We're covering every team, guys. So, um, first, we apologize for these long videos talking about um, all these small little recaps of what we did.
but it's the season. We got to give you all the latest info on what's going on this team. Um, we'll be, uh, in, when the rumors start rooming around, we'll start making videos on every team on what is the rumor around the team. So that's an also uh, stuff to keep a heads up on. So we'll talk to you guys later. This concludes our weekly wrap-up. Um, maybe next Wednesday we'll have another weekly wrap-up. Every Wednesday will be a weekly wrap-up. Uh, or Wednesday wrap up we should say um, we'll talk to you guys soon that's all we have to say so we'll talk to you guys later enjoy baseball and have a great week